Ok. Do you listen to me, class? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Do Good you evening. listen to me? <coughs> Evening. Yes, teacher. Yes, you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good evening. Yes, teacher. Hey, excellent, because the platform asked me to check my audio, and you know we always have tech problems. That is why we need to check. Welcome, class. I am so happy that all of you are here. Great. Good evening, Maria Leticia, uh, Carlos Ernesto, Rafael Alejandro, Martin Osvaldo, Elizabeth Johanna. Cell Berenice, Julio's sister, Wilber Francisco, Miguel Angel, Freddy Celiceo, Andrea Lisbeth, Virginia del Carmen, Flor Morena, Julio Cesar, and let's see, somebody is connected with, connecting with no name. Ah, Melchizedek. Okay, very well. Thank you. Okay, class, here we go. Yesterday, we were working on Mom different... Good evening, welcome everyone. So class, whenever possible, please activate your um, your camera. Remember that it is a prerequisite from InstaForm and also from Regal International Inglés Corporativo. I'm going to share my PPT class, okay? So uh, let's see. We can have a feedback on this. And today is March the 7th, correct? If I am wrong, you correct me, please. <clears throat> I, I couldn't. <laughs> I was about to oh, stop the video and no. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here, uh, March the 7th, and here we have in the agenda our video conference number two greetings as every day. Okay, I greeted you and I told you that I am so glad that all of you are here. We're going to have a feedback, as I told you, and again, you're going to help me reading the objectives for today. Uh, our goal is to work with ING verbs after prepositions. And the preparation task is that, using ING verbs after prepositions, and I expect that we're going to cover our agenda by working at pages 11, 12, 13, and 14. So class, here we go. I need one volunteer in order to help me reading the objectives. Who is going to be that volunteer? Thank you. Teacher. Okay, hold it. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, the okay. specific objective, please. Okay, a specific objective. A student will be able to describe how their department related to or in the organization. Excellent, very well. And now we have the class objective. Who is going to help me? Please. Hello, one volunteer to read the class objective. Okay, <clears throat> me teacher. Okay, please. Class objective by using verb plus ing form after preposition students will describe how their department relates to others in their company. Okay, in other words, um, let's see. If you belong to the communications department, how this department relates or is connected to the other areas, to the other departments in the company. That is what we're going to be working on, okay? Thank you so much for helping me reading the objectives. And now, again, tareas y evaluaciones. As a reminder, recordatorio, reminder, recordatorio. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Instaform semanalmente. And this is what I told you yesterday, ¿ok? Uh, for every week. In the second week, you have, in the second section, section number two, you have a midterm test and the homework. And in 
section four, you have the final test and the homeworks. Okay, that's basically what we were saying. And I need another volunteer to help me reading the requirements, please. Hello. Hello. Okay, um, please. Requerimientos a uh, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Eh, En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Eh, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Y participación activa. Thank you so much. Active participation. Practice makes perfect. The attendance is 100% of the classes. Yeah? We need to uh, accomplish 120 minutes of class because it is... How many minutes does an hour have? 60 minutes, two hours, 60 plus 60 equals 120, okay? 60 plus 60, 120. And as also as a reminder, the attendance is going to be taken twice, approximately at 8.20 and approximately at 9.40. And remember that se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente, here I am, here, or present, and the camera on. And the one-on-one -on -one session after the class for 10 minutes. Okay, yesterday I stayed with Carlos Ernesto, so he is over with that requirement. And today I'm going to ask another partner, another student to stay with me. And one thing, permissions are not available. So sorry, my dear friends, but I'm, I don't have the authorization to give you uh, permission to skip classes, not to be in my class. Okay, and I told you yesterday, if you have any inconvenience, you write, you text to the administration and they are going to take note about that, okay? Otherwise, they are going to be calling you the next day. And here, again, Zoom, bottom, in silence, mute, cameras on. The two chats are available. The one in, the, uh, in Zoom and the one in WhatsApp. The breakout rooms are available. We're going to be working Okay, actively today, and the ask for help button is available for you to require me to help you while you are in the breakout rooms and respect above all. Okay, we're going to be respecting and our language needs to be respectful and the dressing code because we are in a class and remember everything is recorded here. Okay, what we say and what we do. Here is our week number one, section number one from uh, March the 6th to March the 10th. Yeah. So by Friday, I need your activities in the platform to be done. And then we go over week two, three, and four. Questions or comments so far? Okay, let's move then. And here, let's begin with the feedback, as I told you. Yesterday, we were practicing this conversation. Now I need two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, please, Carlos Ernesto. And I need another participant. Me. Okay, Miss. Uh, Maria Leticia, you're going to read Diane. And Carlos, you read the second part, okay? You read Celia. One, two, okay, three, please. let's begin. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in <clears throat> to check-out. Right. Our mission describe we our business exit. And our vision is to become the most preferred dish hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision they where our business want to get in the future. 
future. Future. Thank you. Okay, so here we have to make, to become. They are highlighted because yesterday we were studying the imperatives. Is that correct? And you were also identifying them. I need two more volunteers in order to practice this conversation. Come on, come on, you have to practice. It's me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Rafael. I need another one. Me, please. Okay, let's begin. Uh, Rafael, you begin. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's redeem. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. Exist. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision del where our business want to get in the future. Excellent. Very well. And now that we have gone through that part of the feedback, we move to the next one. Do you remember that yesterday we were also matching, right? these mission statements to these um, successful companies, correct? And if you notice, all of them begin with an infinity, to be, to be, to bring, and to inspire, yeah? And you did a pretty good job with this uh, exercise. Also, we were working here and on how to use infinitives, and you were identifying a mistake and you were correcting the mistake, right? And there was a homework. Do you remember that I assigned you a homework about the mission and vision of your company? Aha, because I told you, do you know it? Sometimes it is at the entrance, but we don't pay attention, right? And then, listen, now that you, ha you have brought the mission and vision of your company and you have read it, you're going to be working in the breakout rooms in exercise number six. You choose a local company or think of your own if you have, okay, or create one and write an effective mission and vision. You have to write a mission and vision for that company or for that business. The requirements are here. The mission statement should be original, memorable, means that people can Recall it, remember it. Succinct, short, and it must be related to the staff. Why? Because the staff, the employees need to feel that uh, mission is for them in order to feel identified with the company. And the vision is about the future. Your vision statement should be about the future, how you picture that company in the future, probably in five years from now, in 10 years from now, 25 years from now. And directional. Okay, what is the direction you would like to have that company? And descriptive, and you may consider the examples that you have in the previous exercise, okay, as a starting point, yeah, here, and then you start creating these ones. But you are going to get an agreement in the groups in order to decide what you're going to be working on for the mission and vision of the company. Is it clear? Yes? Okay, you're going to have 10 minutes the most for yes. creating the mission and vision. But before we go to the breakout rooms, I'm going to call your names in order to take your attendance because, uh, let me see, Natalie, Natalia, she's having problems with the, with the connectivity. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to take your attendance, okay? So activate cameras and action. Uh, 
And here, let me see. Because I know that she is trying to log in. Catherine Beatriz. Okay. Andrea Lisette. Lisbeth. Andrea Lisbeth. Andrea Lisbeth Monge Hernandez. I need you to tell me here I am. Andrea Lisbeth. Está presente, Andrea Lisbeth, el micrófono. Ok, probably she's not here. Presente. Ah, ok, ok, Miss. Thank you. Thank you. Your audio is ok. Great. Um, Carlos Ernesto. Salseño. Carlos, Here where I am, teacher. Ok. Here I am. Because, you know, the one moment the platform is here and your faces move from one side to another one. Elizabeth Johanna. Present. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn Jamilet Molina Alvarez. Evelyn. Present. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. Flor Morena. Flor. Present. Thank you. Freddy Celiceo. Where are Present. you, ladies? Great. Ah, you have been very active. Thank you. Hatesel. I'm here. Is that how is that how you say it, Miss? Hatesel? Yes. It's okay. Yes. Okay, Thank great. You. Great. Julio Caesar. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Catherine. Catherine. Yes. Thank yes, you. Thanks. Maria Isabel. Mary. Uh, Maria Isabel, you're not here. Not yet. Okay. Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Marvin Osvaldo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Melquisedec Mateo. Present teacher. Okay, which is your favorite? Uh, Melchizedek or Matthew? Matthew, which one? Um, Mateo. Okay, Matthew. I'm going to tell you Matthew, okay? Uh, Michael Angel, Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Michael Angel, <laughs> close to the, to the, to heaven, okay? To the sky, to the... <laughs> Natalia Stephanie, she is uh, having problems with the connectivity. Present Rafael. Present teacher. Okay, great. Rudy Alexander. Rudy Alexander. Rudy. Present teacher. Thank Present. you. Uh, Virginia. Del Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Alexia. Wendy, Wendy Alexia, absent. And Wilbur. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, class. So right now, as I told you before taking your attendance, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Okay. Ah, but before we go to the breakout rooms, I need you to activate the camera so we can take the picture of the attendance, the beautiful picture of your beautiful faces, your pretty faces. Okay. Smile, activate the cameras, Catherine, Miguel Angel, and Andrea Lisette. Ready? To the count of three. Here we go. And you say Hugo. Oh. Or cheese. To the count of three. You tell me, Carlos Ernesto, when you are ready. Julio Cesar, look at the yes, camera. Yes, look at the camera and a smile. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to share it right now over here. Okay, let me see. Yes, this is the one. Yeah. Okay, check out please. Whether you like it or not. Okay, now class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. But before we move to the breakout rooms, I need one of you to tell me what is the activity you are going to be doing in the breakout rooms in Spanish or English, no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
¿Qué van a hacer en los breakout rooms? Alguien necesito que me diga en inglés o en español. Decir la misión y la visión de nuestro trabajo. Sí, van a decir eso, lo van a compartir, pero van a crear una como equipo. Van a tomar un negocio local, ¿verdad? Que ustedes no conocen su misión y visión, obviamente, porque ustedes la van a crear con una misión y una visión o de algún emprendimiento que tengan ustedes o su familia o de algún conocido, ¿sí? Y van a crear la visión y la misión. ¿Correcto? Considerando los aspectos que aparecen, las características que aparecen en el manual. Which are these, que son estas. Okay? Uh, original, memorable, and succinct, and related to the staff. That is the mission and the vision about the future, directional and descriptive. Considerando esos aspectos, ¿de acuerdo? Ok. Now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms that the platform is going to create. Let's verify. Four, 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 three, three, three. Mm. Maybe. Okay. Okay, class, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Get ready. Okay, I have sent you the invitation. Join, please, to your different groups and begin working. Marvin and Miguel Angel, I need you to go to your groups. Marvin, Marvin Osvaldo, go to your group. Your group is number four, Marvin. And Miguel Angel, es que no estaba usted en el lugar por eso. Y Miguel tampoco la tiene. Miguel. Ok, Miguel. Me apareció una notificación, pero eh, me desapareció, no le pude dar a aceptar. Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa, Miguel. Le voy a asignar a un equipo. Está listo y luego lo reingreso a este porque los equipos tienen que quedar equilibrados, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, I'm going to um, move you to group number three. Ok, y ahí le va a aparecer para que se una al equipo 3. ¿Sí? ¿Lo visualiza, Miguel? Hola, Miguel. Miguel Ángel, are you frozen? Nuestros clientes, colaboradores y accionistas comprometidos con el bienestar y salud animal en armonía con el medio ambiente. Esa es la misión. Y la visión es ser una empresa que inspire a su talento humano a practicar la mejora continua. Empresa líder en el mercado siendo autosostenibles por medio de la calidad de productos y servicios de distribuciones. Consolidando alianzas estratégicas con clientes existentes y potenciales actuales en la región Centroamérica. Solo eso, dice. Okay. Entonces, eh, que teníamos que elegir un negocio como para hacerle la, la emisión. No sé qué, si quieren algo o... mm. Podremos hacer de alguna compañía de teléfonos para, o sea, para tomar en cuenta la, la misión que él dijo. Como tomarla de modelo. Ajá. Y alguien va a notar. Pues tenemos que anotar la visión y la misión. Sí, porque yo solo en distribuir me quedé. 
Yeah, yeah because, listen, because you're going to present it in, in the main session room, porque la van a presentar. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, entonces, este, ¿cómo le ponemos el nombre del negocio? Este, ajá, pongámosle un nombre antes que todo. La unión entre, entre el equipo de trabajo para eh, eh, ofrecer, digamos, el, el mejor producto a los clientes. ¿verdad? Ese sería como el enfoque de la, de la misión, ¿verdad? Y la visión es lo que usted me decía, que es, es, es como lo, lo, las metas a futuro, ¿verdad? Ok, sí. entonces Ajá. vamos a, a, a... ¿Qué enfoque le vamos a dar? Algo de, de servicios, eh, eh, no sé, ¿qué podría ser? O algo online. Ok, pensemos entonces cómo la creamos. Si fuera Ajá. eso, sería We Believe. Mm. Oh. Porque sería, mm. creemos que todas las personas y empresas de nuestras comunidades, dejémosle solo que todas las personas, quizás, o no sé cómo lo ven. Sí, estaría bien. Sí, más, más general. Uh -huh. oh. Podría ser así. Communities. No sé cómo se escribe comunidades. Communities. ¿Cómo sería? Communities. Um... Communities with double M. Thanks. Okay, like this, I'm going to share it right now. Mm -hmm. Community. Uy. Community. Ay. Sí. Okay. sí. Communities. Communities. Thanks. Mm -hmm. With double M. Okay, communities. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Continue. Y superar sus límites. Um, <ríe> overcome, overcome, overcome. Ay, yes. Overcome sí. its limits. Gracias, overcome. Overcome the limits. Pero eh, este, esta misión y visión, ¿a qué tipo de, como de qué rubro de compañía está dedicado? Eh, digamos más a, a, a ventas en línea. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. sí, dice, Básicamente uh, es, es ventas en línea. Y lo, o, o están diseñadas para mezclar y combinar de modo de sus estilos no sean, sean fáciles, sino infinitos, al, com, al combinar diferentes prendas de su guardarropa varsity, puede crear múltiples looks para cada evento durante toda la temporada. Eso es versatilidad de varsity. Estamos listos para equipar en todo lo que es, es, es de todo lo que hacen y todas las formas en las que lideres. Eso es lo que me habla a mí. Va, chivo, entonces eh, eso sería y, y faltaría Rudy, si crees. Sí. <coughs> ok. Dice en, en español primero, dice ser una empresa textil verticalmente integrada, innovadora, con productos textiles diversificados y de calidad, cuya flexibilidad le permita atender al mercado de segmento alto. Con diseños y colecciones, todo ello respaldado en una cultura de excelencia operativa, prontitud de respuesta, así como un alto, alto nivel de atención a nuestros clientes. Por medio del personal capacitado y motivado que nos permita tener un crecimiento con rentabilidad sostenida. To be a vertically integrated, ah, no hay ni idea cómo se lee esto, textile company with, with diversified and quality 
textile products whose flexibility allows it to service each hand markets with designs and collections. All these make it be a Nakimetrao of operational excellence from response as well as a high level high level of customer service through their training and motivated personnel that allows us to have growth with sustained Proti, no, no, eso no lo puedo leer aquí. Sustain, sustain what? Sustain or sustainable? Sustained. Sus sustained? Mm -hmm. The other word? Profit Profit profitable. Profitable, ah, ok. Profitable. Eso sería todo. Ok. Sustained, profitable, ganancia sostenida. Okay. Entonces tendríamos que hacer, digamos que hacer de caso como que si nosotros tuviéramos una empresa y vamos a hacer la misión y la visión de la. Yes, empresa. that's correct. Okay. Bye, entonces. Everything okay, class? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. You are working as a group, okay? Yes. Okay, excellent. In five minutes, we uh, get back to the main session room, okay? Okay. Bye. Um, si gustan, unimos que tenemos para la palabra available. Available, available, algo así. Teacher, what, how, how do you say, o, o, o cómo se pronuncia available? Available. 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 Ah, está bien. Uh -huh. Ajá, yeah, okay. correct. Very okay, well. Ok, thank you. Available. Ok, very okay. good. Uh, so, Virginia, maybe you can... Uh, practice the, the vision okay. and mission, please. Mission, mission is is written. And with with striving. Striving, striving, striving. striving. Mm -hmm. striving to offer all custom customer the knowledge. Uh, <laughs> possible, 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 the best about selecting and um, and the custom and the cosmo. And the cosmo. Convenience. 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 Okay. Customer convenience. They said odd, odd ones, it means uh, it's like a better or or, or or maximum or something like that. Maximum. Maximum, yeah. The maximum. Top. The top. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Okay. Okay, I think that we're ready, teacher. Okay, who is going to present? Who is going to share with the class? In four minutes, we are going to get back. So decide who is going to present it to the class, okay? Okay. 
Okay, or maybe two of you, one reads the vision and the other one the mission, yeah? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, see you. See you, okay. En lugar de every, in each, que se le significaría en cada interacción. Y luego le ponemos en in every contact point. Between the brands and the customers. Sí, después de experience iría in each. In each, ajá. Para mm -hmm. mí es in each There para in no each. repetir. O sea, para no repetirlo. Estoy diciendo in casi every. lo mismo, uh -huh. ajá. Mm -hmm. Pero le pone in each, eh, que sería en cada interacción. Y todos los puntos de contacto. Y se le quita el tú al inicio. Ajá. Ajá. Entonces, ajá. Okay, sí, class. exacto. In four minutes, we are going to get started, okay? Who is going to present for the class in this group? You decide, or one of you presents the mission and the other one the vision, yeah? Okay. In four minutes. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Ready, people? Yes. Or kind of, kind of. So, so. Okay. Kind of, or similar to so so, kind of, okay. Okay, now, Julio Cesar, right yes. now. Aquí les va, chicos, a ver, y me dicen qué otra cosa okay. tenemos que evitarle. Okay. But it has to be in English. Okay, la voy a, a traducir en inglés también. Okay, yeah, because you're going to present it in front of the class. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. that is why. Okay, great. Yeah, no, down. Ok, este, ya la tengo, solamente la voy a escribir y se la voy a mandar. Ok. Are you ready, people? Yes, you are. Ya casi. Almost, almost. Y se supone que vamos a hacer después de esto, exponerlo. Yes, in front of the class. Sí. Ok. Do you, so, you need como... to make a decision who is going to present in front of the class, ok? okay. Así como aquí que estamos cinco participantes, yeah, digamos, yeah. una persona va a leer la visión y otra la misión. Y yes, la that's it, that's that's it. it. Yes. And later, in the other exercises, the others are going to participate, okay? Okay. okay. Here we go. Let's get back. Uh, become the number one distributor in the country and bring the comfort to something else. Entonces, esa sería la visión. Ok. Ok. 
let's get back, people. Okay. Let's return. Let's wait for the other partners to return because in 20 seconds, the platform is going to bring them back. Okay, time to present. Let's see in group number three, we have Hazel, Mary, Maria Leticia, Rafa, and Wilbur. Okay, Let's begin. Okay. Okay. okay, begin presenting. If you wish, you may share the screen or to just say it orally, no problem, okay? Uh, Leti? Yes. We believe that everyone in our community should push their limits to be successful. And a mission guarantee the best experience in every interaction in each contact point between brands and their customers. Congrats, thanks for sharing. And now let's listen to the second team. Carlos Ernesto, Flor and Virginia. Virginia. Okay. Uh, Miguel, si, si gusta comienza usted. Okay. Uh, the mission statement, I... We strive, strive to offer our customers the lowest possible price, the best available selection, and the utmost convenience. Okay, uh, Flor, are you there? Hello. Sí. Okay, si, si usted sigue con el, la vision statement. Pero yo no le di. No le tomé foto, ni lo copié. Oh. Eh, ¿Y la otra chica? ¿Cómo se llama, Miguel? Virginia. Virginia. Ajá, Virginia. ¿Estás ahí, Virginia? Virginia, ¿estás disponible? Ahorita. Ok, great. Eh, es misión, es time to be here, most customer, gente company, we're customer, and confit and discover and anything 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 they need want to to buy online they want to buy online yes but um okay yes thank you thank you thanks for your participation class excellent now let's listen to Andrea, Lisbeth, Elizabeth, Evelyn, Catherine, and Matthew, who are the presenters. Uh, 
かっけえいいですね。ありがとうございます。La visión sería Take our bed model to different parts of our country so that everyone can enjoy the comfort of our products and have a more peaceful sleep. Ensure the quality of our beds and the service that we can offer our customers. Okay, um, the vision. Become the number one distributor. Number one distributor. Number one distributor. In the country, I am bringing the comfort that each person needs in their home. Congrats, group. Excellent. And now it's time to listen to Freddy's, Julio Cesar, Marvin Osvaldo, and Rudy. Okay, teacher. Um... Eh, el negocio se llamaría Change Store es y la visión sería to be a world class of commercial and service organization that achieves its business goal and social responsibility and told exemplary leadership in the diverse professional environment that Promoted integridad, honestidad, and respect for other. Mission eh, sería to be on the letter in the marketing of clothing and other products products in the market where we operate, serving in the need of our customer while innovando products and service why the dedication and care on the, the service fostering a professional involvement, serving out community and achievement to sustainable growth to meet shareholder expectations. Okay, sustainable growth. Excellent, very well. Okay, class, you did a pretty good job. Well done, claps, claps for all of you. Very well, now let's continue. This is the way it has to be, okay? And now, here we go. Describing how my, okay. How my department relates to others in the organization. Here we have the purpose of this activity, people, is to describe how my department at work relates to others in the organization. So the instructions are this. Please go at page 13 in your manual. Look for page 13 in your manual. We're going to work in groups and three or four and discuss orally the questions in the next slide. Okay, over here. What is an organization chart? Why are organization charts important for businesses? Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? How many questions do you have to discuss? What is an organization chart? Number one, why are organization charts important for businesses? Three, right? One, two, are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Only these three questions in exercise one, you are going to discuss. Later we return and we continue, okay? Because okay. we need to know if, if you are familiar to the 
information that is required. Yes, sir. Uh, what does chart means? That is what uh, we need you to know. If you know or if you don't know, that is what you are going to discuss in class. What is an organization chart? Okay. If you know, you say, I don't know. That is why you're going to discuss in groups. Later, we're going to clarify over here. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you. that is the purpose of the activity. Good question. Excellent. Now go to the breakout room because you only have five minutes for the discussion. Okay. Everybody giving ideas. It is like a brainstorming, but everybody needs to participate. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Okay. Go to your groups. Miguel Angel Santos, your partners where? Michael, Miguel Angel. Sí, teacher. I'm Catherine. Okay. Miguel Angel, your partners where? Who were your partners? ¿Quiénes eran sus compañeros? Carlos, Virginia y Ah, group Flora. number two. Okay, group number two. I'm sending you the invitation right now, okay? Go to your group. Okay, Miguel Angel, go to your group. Great. Okay, class, discuss the questions. If you don't know, you say, I don't know, or I don't know, or I have never seen it, okay? That is the purpose. Or if you know, you say, yes, I know, mm -hmm. but be honest. Bueno, sinceramente yo no le entendí lo que yo me decía. You have to discuss the questions that are in exercise number one. Mm -hmm. Tienen que discutir las, do, las tres preguntas que están acá. Solo eso tiene okay. que discutir esta, estas tres preguntas que están en el ejercicio uno. Ah, según, eh, la vamos a responder según lo que dice la conversación. La, no, niña, de acuerdo a su realidad en su trabajo. Ah, ok. okay. What is an organization chart? Why are organization charts important for businesses? And are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? That is why it is your real information, ok? If you know okay. or if you don't know, you say, no, I don't know. I don't know what it is about. Okay. Dice, no, yo no sé qué es eso. Ya. Yeah. You be honest. Y usted es honest. Dice, no, nunca lo he visto. No sé qué será. Okay. That is why only five minutes. Because most of the people are not familiar to the organizational charts. Okay. Is the structure. 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 In other words, mm. uh, uh, an organizational mm. chart is what you know as organigramma, yeah? Yes, okay. internal structure. Okay, internal okay. structure. Mm. Así como, como, como director ejecutivo, pongámoslo así, Uh -huh. eh, Julio Fabián está pido el tercer nombre. CEO. Es, ya terminaron de contestar las preguntas. Solo tenían que solo tenía, solo tenían que contestar las preguntas estas tres. What is an organizational chart? Why are organizational chart important for companies? And are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? Eso es lo único que tenían que hacer. Ah. En la tercera pregunta puede ser solo como respuesta no. Lo que sucede es que ahí preguntas si en el organigrama hay algún familiar de la empresa. No, no. Are you familiar with the organization chart of your company? ¿Estás familiarizado o familiarizada con el organigrama de tu compañía? De la compañía en la que usted trabaja. Sí. Ok, solo eso es lo que tienen que hacer. Contestar. Yes or no. For the ah. three questions. But according to your reality, because you work in different companies. Ok. Ok, ok. okay, okay. Uh -huh. Nothing else. Nada más. Only that. Okay. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay, great. Ver los rangos que hay dentro de una institución, no sé. ¿Cómo sería como para conocer el, el cargo que tiene cada, Ajá. cada uno en la empresa? Uh -huh. Sí, sí. It, it, eso can, es. it can be the people or it can be the different areas. Yeah? Different areas. Who do you uh, belong to or who do you report to? Okay. So, are you ready? Yes? No. No, only no. To, to ask an answer. Don't get in trouble. We're going to discuss. We're going to have a brainstorming in the breakout rooms, okay? In the, I mean in the main session room, and you're going to see. You don't need to be concerned. You just say yes or no, okay? You say yes, I know, or no, I, I, I don't know anything about it. Or you may also say, mm, let me see. No, I'm not familiar with the organizational chart of the company that I work for. And if you don't know, if you have never seen the organizational chart, there is no problem. Because in some companies, it is at the entrance. In some other companies, the employees don't know about it. Mm -hmm. And there is no problem. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let's get back. Okay, let's wait for the other partners because exactly in 30 seconds they are going to be here. The platform will return them. Okay, great. Welcome back. Now, class, you only had to discuss the three questions. Okay, and here we go. I'm going to read them for you. Number one, class, do you know what an organization chart is? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do you know what it is? Yes, I do. Okay, yes, what I is do. it? What is it? What is it? Yes, I do. Okay, great. So now tell us what is an organizational chart according to you? Who wants to share? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Fredis. Is graphic rep representation of the structure of a company. Excellent. Very well. In other words, what Fredis was saying in class is this. Okay. Is this here we have an organizational chart floor manager, safety engineer, maintenance chief, uh, supervisor, maintenance personnel, machine operators, assemblers, and truck drivers. This is a uh, an organization chart. In now class. Why are organization charts important for businesses? In your opinion, why are they important for businesses or for the companies? Because, okay, who wants to answer? Me. Okay, Ms. Jimenez, the dia, Mrs. Diaz, sorry. <laughs> Define how to optimize the functions of the company. Excellent, very well. Because in that way, we it is easier, right? To know where or where the people belong to. And uh, this is a general question for everyone. And you say, yes, I am or no, I'm not. 
are you familiar with the organizational organization chart of your company? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. Let's be honest. Yes, I am. Yes, yes I, am. I am. Okay, some of you, because in some companies, it is at the entrance or it is uh, in a specific place or in different places or in a document, but in some other companies, employees don't know because they have never seen it and there is no problem, okay? Thank you, and now let's continue with the next step. And here, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice it with a partner. You have here Roxanne and Jessica. Hi, Roxanne, welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department, our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. One more time. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department works together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Now I need two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, one of you, let's see, Carlos, you're going to be to read at the beginning, but you use your names, okay? And uh, the other partner is going to read what Roxana says. Let's begin. Begin the conversation. Okay. Uh, okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is. Who is, going to, who is going to read with Carlos? Who is going to read with Carlos? Eliseo? Okay. Freddy, Eliseo? Okay. Uh, you have to say hi, hi, Freddy. Carlos, okay. you have okay. to say okay. hi, Freddy. Welcome to okay. Rex. Okay, begin. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, friends. Welcome to Rex. My name is Carlos. Uh, I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Carlos. Nice to meet you. Uh, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to, to you? Great, our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is the is in charge of direct directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Th thank you, Carlos. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, thank you. Well done. Listen, hi, okay. Roxanne. Welcome to Rex. Rex is the name of the company. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial, industrial safety engineer. Engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department, department is responsible, responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part. I'll, I'll be part of the maintenance of the maintenance department. 
Will I be responsible? Responsible to you? Great. Our department. Departments work together. But the maintenance chief is in charge of directing of directing. You have two pronunciations. Directing, directing, and they are correct. Your department. You'll be responsible. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Class, you are going to do what your classmates did with the conversation. You are going to replace these names by your real names. You practice the conversation and you switch roles. In other words, Carlos began the conversation the first time. The second time, he's going to continue practicing with Freddy, but Freddy is going to begin the conversation, okay? And when you finish okay. practicing the conversation, you go over exercise number three. Why? Because you are going to discuss the answers to the questions and compare your answers with another pair because we're, we're going to compare the answers with all the class as a group in, the, in this space, in the main session room. Okay? Is that okay? Only that. Exercise two and three. Remember to switch roles in exercise two and also change, replace these names by your real names, okay? Here we go. Okay, teacher. Great. Practice makes perfect. Everybody needs to be practicing. So go to your groups right now, please, and begin the practice. Speaking, reading, and writing. Uh-huh, Matthew, your group is waiting for you. Ahorita, ahorita me uno. Okay. Gracias. Andrea, Andrea Lisbeth, your group is waiting for you. Andrea and Catherine. Andrea and Catherine, your group is waiting for you people. Andrea, Lisbeth, go Hola, to group number eh. one. Hola. Uh -huh. Es que todavía estoy trabajando, entonces no, no he estado tan pendiente. Pero... Ah, ok, ok. If it is possible, you join to group number two, ok? Number one. And Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Go to group number one so you can practice the conversation. Ok. Sí, sí se puede enviar por el chat de aquí del, del grupo. No sé si. Entonces, ¿dónde, dónde la va a mandar? Vamos a discutir entonces, ¿verdad? Sí, vamos a, a practicar la, la conversación. La conversación. Y después vamos a... Uh -huh. Y después vamos a discutir. Sí. Catherine, group number one. Uh, Andrea. Lo que pasa es que estoy viendo que hay unas personas a quienes han tenido um, corte de energía eléctrica, a blackout. Mm. But Catherine is here. 
Okay, let's begin with the speaking. Okay, practice the conversation. Let's take okay. advantage of the time. Okay, sí, ya, ya te lo... Y de la conexión también. <laughs> Tiene okay. la, la captura ya, Evelyn. Engineer. Yes. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My de department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see with Paul on the manager department. Maintenance. Yes. Maintenance. And the maintenance. Maintenance is maintenance. 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 The farming, the, the farming. Thank you, teacher. Would, would be it will I be res responsible? Responsible, responsible. Possible to do. Great. All departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department uh, you will be responsible to him oh the maintenance department will i be responsible to you great all departments work together but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department you'll be responsible to him Thank you, Kaisel. May, may I call I call you if I need help? Sure. Hi, Leticia. Welcome to Rex. My name is Rafael. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Rafael. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see I be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You be responsible to him. Thank you, Rafael. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Ahora continuamos con las preguntas. Dijo que también se iban a hacer las que están abajo. Oh. Okay. Yes, you have to answer. Okay. This will the answer okay. to the question below. Compa ok. Persona de mantenimiento no es no es jefe. Y en la conversación dice que es un chip, es un, es un jefe. Pero no, no dicen el nombre del, de, del chip. Yo creo que eh, Roxana. Roxana. Que, no, Roxana también entiendo que es parte de, del departamento de mantenimiento. Pero no, no mencionan un nombre en específico que de quién es el chip. Ok, who is in charge of directing the Manenas personal? Uh, the Manenas chief. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Okay. Sí. Okay. Vaya, okay. maintenance chief. Y la tercera dice: Who is Roxon responsible to? ¿De qué es responsable? Bueno, perdón. Sí, sí. ¿De qué, de qué es responsable Roxanne? Entiendo. Quiero ver. No, no es eso. Eh... Mm -hmm. 
No, creo que no, fíjate, porque ahí ella responde eh, genial. En nuestro, de, en nuestro departamento trabajamos juntos, pero en el de mantenimiento... No entiendo ahí. La palabra chief... Cheers. Jefe. Ah, who is in charge of in church? This one, church. Is in charge of directing. ¿Quién está a cargo? Ah, le está preguntando quién está a cargo de, de, de su departamento. ¿cierto? Yes, that's okay. That's it. Porque si en esto le está haciendo una pregunta, no vemos el, el, la estructura de la pregunta, Tich. Sí, ahí está la estructura de la pregunta. It is an information question. WH information question, who? Ah, exacto, sí, sí, ah, sí, sí, sí. Who is in charge? I be responsible to you. Great. How the department work? Together. 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 Building management. Any names? Shed is Dean Charging. The. Or directing your department. You should be resp responsible. Be responsible to him. Thank you. Virginia. <laughs> Thank you, Virginia. May I call you if I I, I need help? Sure. Okay. Eh, ahora ustedes dos nuevamente. Practice. Y el jefe de mantenimiento. Entonces sería: The safety engineer is Jessica y en la. Chief main, maintenance. In the maintenance. Is Roxana. Roxana. Ok. okay. Teacher, eh, nos puede pronunciar esta palabra mantenimiento. Maninas. ¿Cómo se? Maninas. Literal, maninas. 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 Menenas. Menenas. Eh, con ese sería con algún acento. Menenas. Eh, es que la habíamos aprendido como me, maintenance. Mm, you may check it in the in the international dictionary. Okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. And then you will see. You will listen to the correct pronunciation, okay? Meninas. Okay, okay, Meninas. <clears throat> the 
Se escucha, compañeros. Sí. Lo estoy viendo en el diccionario de Oxford. La pronunciación. Y es así. Manera. El acento americano, acento inglés. <clears throat> but it will never be maintenance no never maintenance eh, el diccionario Oxford lo estoy escuchando teacher. Mm -hmm. and what does it say no sé si se escucha no No, we don't listen to Mr. No sé cómo hacer para que se escuche, but I'm giving to the voice that is in the page, and I listen to it well, and it sounds like maintenance. Okay, if you say so, continue saying that, okay? But in my experience, it is not that, and if you go to a call center, they are going to ask you to be transferred to someone who really speaks English. Do you speak more slowly? No, they are going to tell you if you say maintenance because native speakers won't be able to understand it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is what I tell you, okay? In my opinion. Because remember that it depends on the on the state that you are talking to the person. For example, in some places you listen a or an for the article. In Texas, people say an an apple. In some other states, they say an apple. Yes, those are called the lexica. Uh, this, smallest variations of language, yes? In linguistics, okay. if you go deeper into linguistics, you are going to uh, learn that. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, for example, in El Salvador, some people um, here, we say, see you, ah, te veo a las ocho. But some people say, te veo a las ocho. Yes or no? So those yes. are the small variations of the language. Yeah. And it is not perfect because it is not the correct way to say, te veo a las ocho o a las once. Te veo a las ocho, te veo a las once. Yes? Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Okay. Of the maintenance department will be responsible to you. Great. All in the department will to hit you by the maintenance maintenance and chat is stronger or direct directing your department you could be re responsible to, to him thank you virginia my i'll call you give me a help sure my okay. my deny. Entonces, si gusta, eh, practicamos, Flor. Comienza, por favor. Flor. 
Flor, Flor Morena, are you here? Ay, perdón, yo había empezado, pensé que no, perdón. No había que okay. el micrófono. No problema. Perdón. Continue. Bueno, um, con Miguel, ¿verdad? Yes. Bueno. <laughs> Okay, finish the practice. Yes, and did you yes. answer the questions? Oh, yes. yes. Okay, great, excellent. Did Rudy practice? Yes. 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 Okay, and Carlos also? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carlos, did you have a chance to practice? Yes, because some people are having problems with the, with the power and also with the internet connectivity. So that's why as I was telling you yesterday, guys, you need to take advantage of the connectivity and the power, okay? Because sometimes we get in trouble with that. And now I think that it is time to return, yes, to the main session room, because we have too many things to do. Good evening. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. They will be back in 30 seconds. And okay, right now I'm going to share with you. And here. Where is it? And uh, this is the one. But I'm going to magnify it for you so you see it better. Okay, here we go. I'm going to minimize this. We have this information class, yes? And we have this setup for questions. Now, I would like you to tell me your answers, okay? So, who is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant? Who is this responsible? Jessica. Yes, Jessica. Jessica is. Responsible. Jessica is. Okay, great. Or Jessica is Teacher. responsible. Yes? Teacher, uh, I, I write down is Jessica is, is correct? Or Jessica is. Jessica is, that's correct. It is short or only Jessica, that's correct. Or long extended answer, Jessica is responsible for keeping the safety of the personnel in the plant. Or Jessica is responsible for keeping the safety, the safety because that is, yeah. Jessica is, is the short one, no problem. Okay. Now, number okay, two, thanks. who is in charge of directing or directing the maintenance personnel? Roxana is. Roxana. Why Roxana? Because um, Roxana. Okay, listen. Let's analyze the conversation. Hi, Rox. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. So, Rox. Uh, Jessica is the new employee, but she is going to be in charge of the uh, safety, okay, of the company. Then Roxana says, thanks, Jessica, nice to meet you. Then Jessica says, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. Roxana says, I see, I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? She is asking if she is going to be under the direction of Jessica and in that department. And then she says, uh, I see, um, Jessica, great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief, the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. So, who is in charge? Uh-huh, the? The maintenance chief. 
Yes, that's it. My my name and shift. The man and as chief is okay. Or the man and as chief is that's okay. Or if you want to write the man and as chief is chair of direction in charge of Monday. directing the Uh, personal, right? Yes. Okay. And then we have here this answer. Now, number three. Who is Roxana responsible to? The mountain chip. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay, now in number four, look at the organizational chart. Here you have to analyze this, okay? Above, who are the safety engineer and the maintenance chief responsible to? They are responsible. Floor manager. Oh, the floor manager, floor very manager. well. The floor manager. To the floor manager. They are responsible, responsible, okay? To the floor manager, and that's it. Very well. Okay, thank you. And now let's continue. Here we go with our next activity class. You're going to be explaining the impact of the core values in the company and its employees. But before we go over this, I want you to recap in this conversation. And there is something that is very interesting, okay? To notice. What do you see that is important to notice in this conversation? ¿Qué consideran que es importante de notar, fijarse o analizar en esta conversación? Que trabajarán juntos en equipo. Okay, that's okay, but grammatically talking. Hablando gramaticalmente. Que ambos departamentos trabajarán juntos. Y esta, that's okay, perfect. But class, I want you to notice this. Is responsible for keeping, yeah? I, uh, will I be responsible to you in is in charge of directing or directing. I'm going to tell you class that here we have for and we have of. These two words are prepositions. Okay, estas dos palabras son preposiciones. Fíjense bien lo que les voy a decir. Siempre en inglés, después de una preposición, el verbo debe ir escrito en ING, pero su significado no va a ser de ING, sino que es infinitivo, ING, infinitive. Because yesterday we were studying the infinitives with two, if you remember, yes? For example, to, um, to play. To play, okay. Let's see. I like to play, uh, to play soccer, which is very common. And then we say, um, playing soccer is healthy. 
¿ya? Miren, me gusta jugar fútbol. Jugar fútbol es saludable. Acá el verbo va con ING. ¿Sí o no? Entonces su significado es infinitivo. Algo parecido sucede con lo que tenemos acá. Let's analyze. Ok, and here. My department is responsible for keeping the safety. Mi departamento es responsable de mantener la seguridad. No vamos, así hablamos en español, no decimos es responsable por manteniendo la seguridad. No, ¿verdad que no decimos eso? Okay. Entonces ya, traducción e interpretación. Por eso no es bueno ir traduciendo palabra por palabra. It's responsible for keeping the safety. Y acá, is in charge of directing. Está a cargo de dirigir tu departamento. No, is in charge of directing. Está a cargo de dirigiendo tu departamento. No. Entonces, el significado de estos verbos, a pesar de que tiene la terminación ing, es infinitivo. ¿Sí? Lo que sucede es que por regla gramatical, después de una preposición, el verbo debe ser conjugado en ing. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Ese es el tema de este okay. tema. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. Very well. And now, let's see. Um, ok. Let's see. Y acá tenemos más profundamente esto, miren. How to use ING forms after prepositions. Look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statement below. Okay. Here we have, is responsible for keeping. Who is in charge of directing? And then who is Roxana responsible to? And uh, then we have uh, responsible to. Okay, so based on that, let's continue. Look, uh, we use a verb plus. ¿Qué es lo que utilizamos? ¿Cómo utilizamos el verbo? Clase. Con S o con ING after prepositions like uh, for or of. ¿Qué vamos a escribir acá? ING. ING. Very well, this one, okay prepositions like for or of in expressions as be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for, committed to, dedicated to, okay, inspired by, telling me, okay, and to say who you report to, use be responsible to, be accountable to, they are kind of synonyms, responsible to, and be accountable to. To say who you report to, a quien perteneces, a quien le tienes que reportar o rendir cuentas, in other words, yeah? You say, I am responsible to, or I am accountable to. I would say, I am responsible to my coordinator, or I am accountable to my coordinator, okay? To talk about your responsibilities, you use be responsible for, be in charge of, be accountable for. They are at the same level. If I say, I am responsible for teaching this class, I am in charge of this group of class, I am accountable for this group of students, in my case, okay? because that is my responsibility. Okay. Now, based on this information, I ask you, do you have any question about the use of ING after prepositions? Uh, teacher, so, es eh, eh, bien puntual la estructura, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. es decir, That's correct. Eh, después de, de una preposición, ¿verdad? ING. And there is no yeah. problem. Pero el significado no es como muchos aprendimos en la escuela, en el colegio. Uh, todos los verbos que terminan en ING son los presente continuo. Que quiere decir comiendo, saltando, durmiendo. No. Existe esta otra estructura. ¿Ok? 
Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. And then here, complete the questions below with the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex organizational chart to answer the questions. Check answers with a partner. Es decir, esto lo vamos a hacer en equipo. For example, class, let's work on the first one as an example, and later I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Who is responsible for? Which is the word that we need to write over here? Okay, who is supervising? Okay, excellent. For supervising the machine operators. And here, who is in charge of? Checking. Checking the quality of the products. And then you continue, okay? It is kind of easy, as your classmate said, it is punctual. You have to do it, yes or yes. But when you, here you have to answer the questions and you have to consider because who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? And then you start, oh, uh, machine operators over here, okay? Look at this. These are the machine operators. Ah, uh, the supervisor, yeah? So who is responsible for the machine operators? The supervisor. And the supervisor mm -hmm, is under the safety engineer, so, but directly, the machine operators are, you know, uh, responsible to the supervisor, yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes, teacher. so you have to, first you complete this set and then you answer these questions based on the organization chart, okay? But now, class, I'm going to call your names for the second attendance because Andrea Lisset, Andrea is absent. Carlos, present teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth Joanna. Present. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth mm -hmm. Joanna. Evelyn Yamilet. Present. Flor Morena. Flor. Present. Present. Freddy Celiceo. Present. You're here. Hazel. Here. I'm here. Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Catherine. Ay, she is. Okay, Catherine is here. You're back. Present. Maria Isabel. Absent. Maria Leticia. Present. Thank you. Marvin. Present teacher. You're back. Uh, Matthew. I am here. Okay. Okay. Mateo Melquisedec. Absent. Natalie. She had problems today. And Rafael. Present. Outer space. Rudy. Rudy. Absent at the moment. Virginia. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy. Absent. And Wilber Francisco Javier Martinez. Present. Javier is a name. Yes. For a last name. Okay, three names. Oh, that's very well done. Three names. Oh, okay, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? Here we go. Go to your group. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Okay. Yo la había escuchado. Mm, Marvin. Miguel. Sí, Marvin. Ah, Miguel. Pero si usted me contestó, Miguel. No. <laughs> Here, no fui, no Miguel Ángel. Oh, really? Yes, no, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Mateo, Mateo fue a quien no, no encontré. Okay, okay but, but the, I have your attendance, yes? Because I yes. saw you here, okay? Thank you, <laughs> go to your groups. And Marvin, I said that okay. he came back from his problems that he had with the power. Teacher, okay, go to your groups. Hello? Dije present. Sí. 
Sí, aquí estoy verificando. Okay. Le digo que sí a Marvin, okay. sí, que dije, he's back, regresó. Ok, go to your groups, Marvin, group number two. Okay, let's work, let's work. Everything okay? Yes? Yes. Okay. Miss Elizabeth Johanna. Good to yes. see you. I have to ask you to stay with me after the class, okay? For 10 minutes. Okay. Today, okay? So, don't go away when we finish. Okay. See you. Yes, eh, la cuatro sería who is accountable for eh, the product. Y serían sell, selling. Who is accountable for selling the product. Sí, el ANG. Es correcto. Repairing. Y el otro sería este, selling. Selling. Uh, mm -hmm. charge of assisting the selling. assemblers. Mm -hmm. Who is accountable for manage the whole operation. Y en la primera que sería the supervisor. En la segunda dijimos the, the auditor. auditor. Mm -hmm. y luego dice que... Problems the of the machines. Mm -hmm. Problems. Uh, teacher, uh, super super bees in, in this case in the sentence set or in the question number one, the answer could be uh, supervise. Super supervise. Creo que sería supervising, 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 Super, supervising. supervising. and quitaría, la, ajá, quitaría la, la E y ella agregaría la ING. Así sería, ¿verdad? Supervising. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ya sé que la, la estructura es después de un for, un off, eh, el verbo va eh, con el plus ING, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Entonces, supervising sería acá. Sí. Muy bien. Entonces, to, entonces todo llevaría en ING. Eh, todo llevaría en ING. Sí, verdad. Uh -huh. Ok. Excelente. Sí. Teacher, no, no, nos hace pensar mucho, teacher. <ríe> nos hace correr. <ríe> buen provecho, teacher, buen provecho. But why do you tell me, ah, I'm having a candy because of my throat, I was telling you, yeah, because I speak too much, so I need something to refresh my throat. Ah, okay, okay. Que estoy comiendo ginger candy. Ah, okay. Like, mm -hmm. like a holes. Similar to that one. Okay, But because okay. everything is recorded, I, I don't mention any name for publicity. Advertisements, yeah, because this goes to YouTube. <laughs> and we you know, band, podríamos ser como cancelado, ¿verdad? And then, ah, pero ¿por qué okay. dice que los hago pensar y correr? Eh, lo que pasa es que eh, en la medida en que uno avanza de nivel, eh, pues este se lo he sentido yo como más, no pesado, pero sí es como más. Because of the vocabulary. Cero Spanish, only English. <laughs> Correcto. Sí, igual yo así lo siento. But that is the way we learn, right? Yeah, yeah, of uh -huh. course. Yes. So, yeah. But, uh, 
sometimes we switch into Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it is better how about to with listen the, to. Mm -hmm. How about with the level number six? Uh, uh, that, that's easier. The structures are very easy. Really? Yeah. Okay. But uh, uh, you think about that uh, we speaking English in, in, in the level number six? It depends on you. Yeah. It depends on each student. That is why I am trying to speak only in English because you feel the need to speak in English. Yes. Okay. But if I speak always in Spanish, 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 you're going to continue speaking in Spanish. And your English, when are you going to practice English if you don't practice in okay. class? So that is the purpose. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, of course. Okay. But I try to share, I try this. Sometimes it's very difficult to uh, study English, you know, but. Um, no hay, eh, digamos, con quien practicar a veces, ¿verdad? Por eso that, is cuentas, why we, por that is why we have to practice here, because practice makes <laughs> perfect, as I told you, yeah. yeah? Listen, <laughs> even in our native language, we make mistakes. So it is expected that we make mistakes in another language, yeah? So we need to practice okay. here, trial and error. Like when we were learning to speak Spanish, little children, Yes, the same happens. So okay, don't, okay. don't be discouraged. No se sienta desanimado. Yeah? Okay. Okay, no okay continue. Okay. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Wow, congratulations. Excellent, amazing ready to share with the class. Listo para compartir con la clase. Yes, teacher. Oh, Joanna. yes. <laughs> no, but yes. Do, you have, do you have all the answers? Yes. Do you have all the answers, class? ¿Tienen todas las respuestas? Yes. 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 Okay, great, excellent. So we are going to compare with the other groups, okay? So give me 10 seconds and decide who's going to share with the class. Okay? okay. Make that decision. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hello, teacher. Okay. Are you are you ready, class? Uh, no. <laughs> mm, why not? Why not? Tell me why. Estamos Estamos respondiendo las preguntas. Eh, uh -huh. Ya terminamos el tema de poder agregar el ING, uh -huh. pero estamos respondiendo como las preguntas en base al cronograma. Okay. Pero ¿qué, ¿qué significa en español maintenance? Mantenimiento. O jefe, maintenance. De jefe de mantenimiento. Ah, ok. Ok. Jefe de mantenimiento. Okay. Okay. Okay, group, everything is ready here. Who is going to present for the class? Who is going to present for the class? Hello? Hello. Do you listen to no me? Did I, did, I, did, I, did I lose the connectivity? Oh my God. <laughs> no, but no, I mean, no. no, but you have the answers. Yes. Yes. Or not yes. Yet. Okay, let's do it as a group, as a general group, and we're going to discuss, okay? Because of the okay. time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, let's get back. Okay. Whenever I see uh, Rafael's background, okay, okay. I feel uh, like if I am uh, in the movies, <laughs> in a movie film, yeah. Uh, Universal Pictures. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, no, I would like to take a, a trip around the, the planet because now you can go, yeah, okay. in a special, in a special, uh, you know, 
Rafa, Rafa espiando a la competencia en Dapa. Rafael and Wilbur, both of you work together in the same company. No, no, ah, no, because no, no, no. in the last group uh -huh. is together. Ah, you were together. That's why you are acquainted. Okay, class, here we go. Let's do it as a big group. And you provide, okay, your alternatives. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Hello? The supervisor. The supervisor. Is, okay, the supervisor. And who is in charge of checking, checking the quality of the products? The auditor. The auditor. The auditor. The auditor. Uh, auditor is quality control inspector. Is the quality control inspector? Uh, so the quality control inspector. Yes. Quality control inspector. Okay, very well. Now, who is responsible for repairing? Repairing the problems of the machines. Yeah, <laughs> Hold it. There's a mistake over here. Okay, repairing the. Say it again, please. Uh, maintenance chief. Uh, yeah, because it is the chief. problems of the machines. Because he um, tells the operators or the mechanics, right, to go and fix the problems. Who is accountable for selling the products? The sales, the sales department. department. The sales department. The sales department. Good. Now, who is in charge of assisting the assembler? Supervisor. Mm, yes. Let's see. Assembler. No, because here we have the assembler. Supervisor. Yeah, the supervisor, because the assembler is at the same level of the truck driver and the machine operators. Yeah. Crew manager. It is the, the, the supervisor, Mr. Because who is in charge of assisting? Um, um, listen, listen. Assisting the assemblers, the ayudarle to the assemblers. The machine, op machine operator. And truck driver or only the machine operators? Um, machine operator. Okay. The machine operators. operators. Yeah, I think that the machine operators. And who is accountable for managing the whole operation? The general manager. General manager. Mm -hmm. The big responsibility. Okay, very well, the general manager. So class, you have worked a lot and you have learned vocabulary, yes or no? Okay. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Did you practice speaking? Yes. 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 Did you practice reading? Yes. 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 Did you practice writing? Yes. 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 Did you listen yes. to your partners? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. So we practice yes. the four basic, yes, yes, yes. The four basic skills <laughs> to learn the language. And today class, okay, I'm going to stay with Elizabeth Johanna after the class. And for the rest, continue working, please, in the platform. Okay. So see you tomorrow. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Great Nice. See you tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you for joining. Bye bye. Have a good night. 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 Good
Bye, bye. Bye, Wilbur. Bye, Rafa. Bye, Hazel. Bye. 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 Maria Leticia. Bye. 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 Take care. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> bye. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye. Bye bye, Matthew. Bye bye, Rafa. <laughs> okay. Okay, Elizabeth, Johanna, we're going to get started. Okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, final. Rafael, bye bye. Bye bye, Rafael. Rafael, have a good night. Okay, Miss uh, Elizabeth, Johanna. Do you have any question about the, the infinitives with ing or the infinitives with two? Is it clear? The structure? Sí, sí creo que sí, todo está claro con eso. Okay, so right now, Miss, we are going to practice reading. Okay, and I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so here and here and here and here, okay? But this is, uh, nope. this one, not yet. Okay, this one, the one that we practiced yesterday. Okay, I'm going to read Diane and you're going to read Celia. So here we go. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be right to answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Okay. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our West feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right, our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Now we switch. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We shall be uh, ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our West feel at home from check-in to check out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Okay. Uh, repeat after me, Miss. Answer. 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 Okay. Answer. Answer. The W is not pronounced. Answer. Okay. Answer. Okay. Guests. Guest. The U is not pronounced. Guest. Guest. Preferred. Como? Preferred. Preferred. The stress goes in the second syllable. Preferred. Preferred. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read it alone and later you read it only you. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right, our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Now you read alone. 
Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We showed the answer question about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission was to make our guests our guests feel at home from check in to check out. Right, our mission is described why our business exits. And our vision is to become the most preferred beat hotel by families by 2020. That's right, our vision tell where our business wants to get in the future. Very well. Now please read these uh, mission statements, A, B, C, and D. Uh, Vision uh -huh. is Yeah, A, B, C, and D. Okay. okay. To be the most customer centric company in the world where people can see and discover anything they want to buy online. To be global energy company most admired for its people, partnership and performance. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. To inspire and... Okay, ¿Cómo se pronunciaría eso? Nurture, nurture. Nurture the human spirit one person one cup and one neighborhood neighborhood, neighborhood and time okay at time repeat after me find find admired admired partnership partnership nurture Nurture. Nurture the human spirit. Nurture. No. Nurture. Nurture. The human spirit. Nurture the human spirit. One person. One person. One cup. One cup. In one neighbor. And one neighbor. Very well. Okay, so here the other conversation that we have. First, I read it and later we do it together. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that make us different from other companies. Okay. You are Mario and I'm Therese. Begin. Did you receive a um, newsletter? Newsletter about the core values of the company. I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of values. the company. Values of the company. But maybe we don't able, able apply. apply them. Exactly. We show like the values uh, that make us different from other companies. Like okay. repeat after me newsletter. Newsletter. Leave. Leave. Us. Us. Make us. Make us. Okay, good. This is what we did yesterday. And here. 
you are Jessica and I'm Roxanne. Begin. Well, I'm not because I'm here. Ah, yes. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safe, safety safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Uh, yes, Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keep, keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible for you? To you? I'm sorry, to you? Great. Our department were together, but um, the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You, you will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Now we switch. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Um, my department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of my maintenance. maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to me. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if, the, if I need help? Sure. Now you read the complete conversation. Uh, hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the saving of the plant. <coughs> I see I, I'll be part of the mine. Mine is department. Department. Will I be responsible? Responsible. To, responsible. Responsible to you. Right. Or department work together. But but the maintenance chief is a charge of charge directing the charge. department. <clears throat> you were responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I kill you if I need help? Sure. Repeat <clears throat> after me, miss. May I call you if I need help? May I kill you I I no, may I call you? May I call you if, if I, need, I help? need help? Okay, repeat after me. Responsible. Responsible. Keeping. Keeping. Safety. Well, Safety. Safety. Engineer. Engineer. Okay, engineer. Engineer. Responsible. Responsible. In charge of? In charge of? No, in charge. In charge. Of. Excellent. In charge of. May I call you? Como? May I call you? May I call you? If I need help? If I need help. Okay, miss. Thank you so much. Very well done. So you see, practice makes <laughs> perfect. Oh, you're sick from your throat. A lot of people are sick, yeah? Okay, you need to take care of your throat. Thank you so much for giving me your time. Relax, take uh, something for your throat and have a good night. Good Sleep night. well and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Have Bye. a good night. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye.